Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and this is Maker Mornings with Meg. Welcome to the Friday edition in which we will be looking at the fabulous Kisses and Hugs Paper Pumpkin Kit from uh, January 2022. So this is the one that ships during January. And if you have your kit already, great. If it's still coming in the mail, hang in there, it'll get there. And if you missed one, you can get them as a refill or as a, I think, uh, well, as a refill maybe? Anyway, uh, there's a link in the video description and you can get those. So getting pa Pepper Pumpkin Pass Kits or refills is a perk of being a subscriber and this is the best time of the year to do that because if you get a prepaid code, you get a free celebration item with it, which is um, a great thing. I should say at least a three month prepaid code, you get a free celebration item. So. This is hands down the best time to get Paper Pumpkin. My own strategy is to get my prepaid codes always during celebration um, because who doesn't like extra free stamps with them, right? Um, all right, so good morning. Oh yeah, lots of um, folks here this morning for a Friday. Margie and Amanda and hey Carol and Melissa and Trish and Tanya and everybody else whose names I can't see right now. Um, but I am really excited about these projects. So. I know Paper Pumpkin comes, sometimes we're excited, sometimes we're like, hey, I don't really think I wanna make those projects. So I'm gonna give you three options today, including a trick that lets you transform these envelopes into fun designer series paper. Uh, so that actually you can do to match any project. Um, we're gonna kinda stick with the colors that are in this kit, but you could do them for anything. Um, I'm gonna show you how to turn one of the cards into a treat holder. And I'm going to show you one more alternate card idea that just is a normal card instead of the um, ones that are included in the kit. So lots of ideas and you will be able to apply some of these things to anything. So um, we're gonna have a sneak peek of the, or sneak visit of Rainbow of Happiness, all kinds of good stuff. Let's get stamping. <laughs> so I'm flipping my camera down, all right. And let's take a look um, at what is, sorry guys, for some reason taking a while to get set this morning. Um, let's take a look at what is in the paper pumpkin kit. So this one uh, comes with, of course, a stamp set Pink and, so, whoops, there we go, um, a stamp set. And here is the stamp set. Um, it comes with a spot, which is gray granite, which at first I thought, really gray granite to go with that stuff? That's interesting. Um, but it works fabulously. And then uh, it also comes with all of the card pieces and so forth. So let's pull this stuff aside. Those are my ready to go ones. It comes with these pieces here where they're um, all colored on one side. And it comes with always directions for, where's directions? Mine usually don't. <laughs> make too much of an appearance. Um, it comes with directions, here we go, for kind of what their idea of the finished project looks like. So um, I think that their project idea is to kind of do this. So you have a, a little um, trifold that comes together like that. I'm gonna show you kind of a different take on that. And, uh, but certainly you could make them exactly this way. And then the kits always come with a, um, couple uh, extra ideas. So we're going to borrow this idea a little bit. And then we um, also have this little insert, which was included that talks about these boxes that you can get as an add-on. So these are a great way to get a whole bunch of extra little heart um, tag pieces and boxes. If you have something that you want to make, um, you know, as an occasion for like lots of little treats, things like elementary school Valentine's or things like that. So Let's go ahead um, and look. There are these heart pieces here. There are these fabulous sequins, which you know I will be using. There are vellum hearts. There are these pages here that have um, the colored hearts like this and little arrows. There are these. And then the Valentines, of course, come in vanilla and in um, that uh, blushing bride color. So, all right, so with that, Let's get started, um, first of all, with um, the alternate that basically takes um, this and turns it into a trifold instead of this like extended pennant fold thing here. So I've got my pieces together for that one. Here it is. And this one is gonna be our little treat holder. So 
When you um, first get this, you are going to find that you can't actually fold the pieces together um, like, oh, let's see, how do I do this? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it this way. You can't really fold the pieces together because there is right here um, a little extra um, shape that you need to take off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide to use this for the front. So I'm gonna do this as the inside, which means I need to trim away just that tiny little straight piece there. And if you can see that score line, then you know you got it. So now we have um, a trifold that's gonna come together. I know the inside is kind of blank, but that's okay. We're gonna, we'll get there, I promise. Um, so I'm gonna layer one of these hearts on the front. So this is a punch out from the kit. And I'm gonna use, like I said, the Rainbow of Hope. Um, so for this, uh, I'm gonna pull in some other ink colors. So I have, oh, Rainbow of Happiness, sorry. I have Poppy Parade. I have um, Flirty Flamingo. And I have Crumb Cake. And I know you're thinking, oh no, Gray Granite, which is included. Now you're thinking Gray Granite, that's a weird Valentine color, but it works so well. Um, so now I'm gonna start with the uh, rainbows here and I'm gonna start with a third largest one. And if you haven't yet, um, the um, tutorials that I have for this month's feature uh, are the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. So you can still grab those or get those for free when you place an order um, with me this month or you'll be getting two rainbow um, cards in the mail if you um, place an order that's at least $50. And some of those, actually a big stack of those went in the mail yesterday. So you might be getting them sooner than normal this month. Um, but if you haven't done it, your order yet, it's okay, you still have time. So I'm gonna layer these hearts and then I want to add um, like a little greeting because there's a treat inside here. So for you is actually from the stamp set that is included with, um, here it is, included with a paper pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up and stamp this here. So if you're wondering why I went so far off the edge, that was why we needed a place to leave our heart. And then I'm gonna pop, uh, we'll put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Now, if you're thinking, okay, uh, Meg, I don't send um, Valentines to elementary school. We don't just don't do elementary school Valentines in our, you know, in my life. Uh, not everyone has elementary school kids. Um, the good news is that these are good for anyone. Um, really, there is not a person whose day would not be brightened by getting a little Valentine treat. Um, the person at the car repair place, the person um, wherever you're going for your day, that person would be happy to have a little Valentine. And so you can share that with them. All right, so I'm gonna put my um, arrow down here. Those are punch outs from the kit. And just to make it easy on myself, I'm going to pop a piece here. Hi, Kelly and Kim. Oh, Kim says she's just opening her kit. Hi, Sandy. Um, and then I think I'm gonna kind of turn that sideways. Now you could stamp, there's a little spot there, um, or skip it. And then I'm gonna put one of these little sequins on there, okay? So there is the second panel of our For You. Now, when we get to the inside, um, we are going to, first of all, candy is gonna go in here, okay? Um, but we're gonna go ahead and repeat our motif from the front. And this is where these little rainbow pieces are so quick and easy and fun. So you can stamp as many of them as you like. And normally I would say, of course, you're gonna stamp on your envelope, but we're actually not gonna stamp on our envelope and I'll show you why in a moment. And then I have a greeting for this set, um, which comes from the Rainbow of Happiness. It's this one, a little something to brighten your day, which um, is a great message, especially if you're you know, just giving this to some pseudo random person, like the person at the car repair place, um, because that is just a nice way to say like, hey, this is why I'm giving you this fun treat. So I'm going to pop this on here with a um, Stampin' Dimensional so that it stays where I want it to, and then this is gonna come together like this, okay? So see how we've done that? Very easy little trifold. So the envelope I'm not stamping on because I am using one of the Stampin' Up Clear envelopes and they fit perfectly here. So now I have a little 
treat packet, um, I would go ahead and just seal this shut. One of the great things about this adhesive is you can close it out here, or you can very easily fold it over so it's the same size and shape of your of your card inside. And so I'd go ahead and just fold that and adhere there. Okay. So um, you of course put it like your name inside or something like that. All right. So there is our first Valentine. All right, next, our first pick-me-up. Let's call them like pick-me-up treats. They really don't have to be necessarily Valentine-y. Um, okay, so let's go next to our card. So what if you want to make a card that is a little bit more standard size? Of course, um, the envelopes that come with this kit are beautiful. They are, um, on the outside, the very pretty flirty flamingo color. And then the inside, they have this um, fabulous embossed paper. So you can put the um, cards in. You, you could go ahead and put your treat packet in here just like this. Um, or you can make a standard size card. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a piece of flirty flamingo cardstock, which is just cut to the normal size. And uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and add, oh, I lost my example here, um, some pieces from here. So this card, um, it gives us some great possibilities. And so I'm going to go ahead and make the most of this XO panel um, as well as the two hearts on the outside. So I'm not gonna worry too much about um, the edges of this because this piece is gonna go on the front and I'm gonna trim that. And then this piece is actually gonna go on this side, like so, and cut, we're gonna trim an edge off of there also, okay? Now, if you're trying to extend your pieces, like you want to make a ton of cards for these, um, there are 10 of these like triple strips. So basically you have 30 little panels um, that you could use for different things. So this is kind of using up a whole strip of them, but you could extend them further. Uh, so let's go ahead and adhere these. I've got my, um, here we go, stamp and seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this down and we're gonna trim that in a minute. And then this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put on here with um, Stampin' Dimensional so that it pops up a little bit. Carol says she loves this paper pumpkin kit. They are fun. I. I honestly, sometimes when I open them, think, oh, what am I gonna do with that? But once I sit down and start playing with them, I have never been disappointed. So um, I highly recommend just giving it a shot. All right, so you can use scissors or you could um, be careful, use your paper trimmer here also. You can save these elements because they could be little pieces that you add on to another card. Um, you could even punch out a shape since we hid most of this dotted Valentine here, you could you know, punch out a square or cut something out of there um, and save some of that extra scrap. I just throw it back in the box um, to have handy. Now we have my XOXO here, which is gonna be our banner. And when I have a long straight line to cut, I always just get out my paper trimmer because it is um, definitely the best way to get a straight line. So I'm gonna line this up here I'm gonna hold on to the plastic and I'm just looking to make sure that my my writing, my XO, I'll hang on to that, um, is straight against my trimming or against my cutting um, edge. So let's see, you can see really easily that that is straight and lined up there. Okay, that is a good way to get straight lines. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna, I guess I could have done it on my trimmer, but I'm gonna trim there, which was slightly less than straight, and then I'm gonna trim um, here. Okay, I showed this the other day to a group of stampers who've been stamping forever, and they're like, how come you never showed this? So if you hate cutting banners, this is what you're gonna do. You're going to cut first in the center, so ignore the fact that I cut there first, and then you're going to cut from the corner up to the point of your first cut, okay? And that is gonna give you a straight cut, or straight, fishtail or whatever every time. So first in and then from corner to the cut, from corner to the cut, and you will be in good shape. And this is gonna go down here. Now before we put this on, um, let's go ahead and stamp here. And this time we're gonna use some of the stamps from this set. So I've got the heart here. I'm gonna use the same color. So 
We'll do a flirty flamingo, stamp one in there. And then I'm gonna give it an outline here with Poppy Parade. Now be aware that when you're working with the, um, the papers that are included with the paper pumpkin kit, they take a second or two longer than basic white to dry, um, the ink to dry. So just be careful not to smear while you're you know, messing around. Uh, and then I'm going to add these delightful little dots, which I've put on the back of the same block. I've got a lot of ink floating around on my block there. It might be safest to clean that. Um, okay, and then I'm going to use this and I'm going to add dots all the way around. So I love that paper pumpkin stamp sets often come with sort of like all-purpose elements that you can use with lots of things. Something about these pink dots um, does make me think of chicken pox, but <laughs> we're not, we're, it's not really a thing anymore, so. Okay, so there we have our, our dots, and then we have our element here, and a Stampin' Dimensional to layer those. These, again, these hearts both came out of the Paper Pumpkin kit, and this is going to go um, over here, I think. It's gonna kind of center on this heart and then our XOXO is gonna be like that. So let's go ahead and pop this on. I've got enough dimensionals on there, I don't need one more. And then um, we have our banner to pop on. So if I put one dimensional out over here, then that is going to stick down this layer, and then I think I need one more down here. So what I'm kind of doing is like thinking like stacking Legos, like what layer is each, how many dimensionals up is each part? so that I can get this banner straight and not like kind of floating down or up, okay? And then we have, of course, our sequins that are included. So let's pop a couple of sequins on there. Um, I love the shimmer on these. Let's see, Pam says she got her kit yesterday. She hasn't had a chance to play yet. Um, yeah, this is kind of a fun one. All right, so there is that. And then for the inside, we would do our super fast rainbow. And if you haven't seen these rainbows all over the place, they are just um, a great motif. They're really common in textiles and things like that now. And then I'm gonna put the same greeting on here, a little something to brighten your day, okay? Which kind of softens the big XOXO hugs and kisses on the front, so. And really, who doesn't want a card to brighten? Who couldn't use a card to brighten their day? So that can go on the inside, okay? Like that. So there is another card. So we have our Valentine trifold treat with chocolate. We have our card, and I have one more. And the last card, um, okay, I'm most excited about chocolate, but after that, I'm most excited about this card because we are going to um, make the most of one of these little envelopes and turn it into designer series paper. All right, so here is that. I am going to pull out my trimmer again, and this time I'm going to trim off just the very edges of the envelope. So basically, I'm going to convert it um, to be sort of a straight line thing, okay? All right, so now I have this giant piece of absolutely gorgeous designer series paper, okay? Um, if you can avoid kind of this like score line, that might be the, the best way for you to, um, to go. I'm gonna line up the design and cut that there. Okay, so I've cut on that score line and so then I have this piece here. If you can disguise that score line, it won't really matter. Um, and of course this piece here is the same size as a card, so um, you could use it as a card layer like that, okay? All right, so again, save those pieces, put them in the box. But I want to get rid of these extra elements here. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those away. Again, you can save them if you want to. Um, the XO design is a little weird um, with <laughs> on its side. I feel like this doesn't quite... I don't know, it doesn't quite the same to me. Somehow it just doesn't quite visually work for me. Um, but you never know, you might want it for a, a bottom or something. And then I'm gonna cut this. I want this to be four inches wide. So I'm measuring, oh, I'm sorry, off the top of my ruler. Um, I am measuring here um, so that I can kind of center this arc because I wanna save this arc. And so I'm lining it up here. Actually here it would be a smarter way to do it. I'm lining it up here 
and I want it to be um, four inches wide. So I'm gonna cut off a teeny bit here and a teeny bit here. And honestly, no one's gonna like measure the arc to make sure that you got it exactly right. And then if you wanted to kind of um, use the same measuring spot, you can just flip it over. Okay, and there we have. Okay, so now we have a card topper that is going to work splendidly. So again, when you use um, cards that are the long direction, you always want to score. Um, so let me pop this back on here one more time and score this. All right, so I'm gonna use my score blade this time, score it at five and a half. Uh, because if you just fold these freehand, you will find that you crack your cardstock um, at the top and that's just sad. All right, so now we have a fun layer to go on the top of our card. But what if you want it to match your card? So this is again where some Stampin' Up! has some ideas. Um, I always share Paper Pumpkin alternate ideas. So you can always look, um, there's a playlist linked in the video description here and you can see past Paper Pumpkin alternate ideas. But I'm gonna show you how to incorporate these blending brushes and the Flirty Flamingo ink that we're using here to have this paper match our card better. So I'm gonna grab my blending brush, and as always, you're gonna swirl uh, to pick up ink and then swirl to add to your paper. Now, if you're wondering why my pad looks like it's all stripey here, it's because I just re-inked it, and actually one of the things that's great about blending brushes is it smooths out the um, re inkerness of your um, ink pad. So that is kind of a fabulous uh, bonus of using blending brushes on a freshly inked pad. All right, so I'm just gonna keep swirling and now um, I want this to be a little bit of an ombre kind of thing. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep swirling down a little bit more without re-inking so that I get a nice um, light transition there. There's a little lighter spot here at the top so I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh ink up there. And then you can kind of see how you get this ombre effect um, as you move down, okay? So darkest up here and then lighter as you go. Pretty, right? And of course you could do this in any color to match whatever um, your theme is. So you could make this a, um, I don't know, you make it green if you want, whatever color makes you happy. And then this piece is going to fit on our card. So I'm gonna use snail and I'm gonna give it a little bit more right around the edges. You guys know I'm a little bit um, free and loose with my layer adhesive, because the adhesive sticks great, so you don't have to work too hard at it. But when I have a layer like this that goes right up to the edge and the paper is just a little lighter, now again, smush from the backside, there you go, um, then you find, I find that I, I appreciate a little extra adhesive, okay? Now I have these pieces here, which were punched from the kit. Um, this time I'm gonna clean my little for you really quickly because I don't wanna use um, the Poppy Parade. This time I'm gonna go with the Flirty Flamingo, okay? And a Stampin' Dimensional to pop this on here. Oops, there we go. And actually let's put this on first. It's easier to, easier to eye where to put it all on when I, everything's connected. Okay, and then this I'm gonna pop down here, and then this I'm gonna do, I think, square. So I've kind of got an element of like matching there. And then of needs bling, so we're gonna grab a uh, another one of these little sequins and pop that on there. All right, so there is a fun way to use this. And then of course, if you want to um, grab an extra envelope, you could grab your extra envelope to put it inside. And then you have a card and an envelope that are fabulously matching. Um, if you're gonna stamp on the inside, you can um, use the uh, stamps here from the Paper Pumpkin Kit. Now, when you get a refill for Paper Pumpkin, the um, $10 version, they don't include the stamps, so you would wanna have another stamp set on hand to do your um, do your stamping with, but heart stamps, um, oops, are great. All right, I'm gonna attempt to, nice, did you guys see that? <gasps> Look at that, lined those, oh, I did it again. Okay, make sure you're stamping completely. There you go, yeah, not quite exactly on that one, but 
Um, I'm gonna use this outline here, and then that will just distract from the fact that that heart was just a little bit off. And I love the dots, like I said, so let's pop some more dots kind of around the edge. They just look like fun candy elements somehow to me. And I am gonna grab this one in Real, or Poppy Parade, and go ahead and add this, because we're just brightening everyone's days with our Valentines, right? or our thinking of you, or our thought you could use something to brighten your day cards. <laughs> Whatever you wanna call them, don't let the idea of like, I don't really wanna send Valentines, um, put you off, okay? Everyone can use a little brightness in their day. So there are three fun ways to use these products, um, the pieces in the um, January Paper Pumpkin. Uh, and then, of course, our little trifold chocolate treat. Here we go, like this. Um, there are three different ways to use those. I have incorporated um, the Rainbows of Happiness stamp set. So if you are getting the refill, oh, I have like an ink smudge there. Okay, here's a good trick for you. Just keep your chamois handy because you can always clean off random ink spots with it. Love this thing. Anyway, uh, where was I? Um, if you are getting this paper pumpkin kit, hugs and or kisses and hugs as a refill, um, you'll get all the paper products in there, but you won't get the ink spot or the stamp set. Um, but no problem, just add that rainbow of happiness uh, to your order, and then you'll have plenty of things to kind of mix and match with the rainbows and and so forth. Because I think the rainbows and hearts are a fun fun match together. So. All right, so that's us for Friday and today's uh, Paper Pumpkin Maker Mornings with Meg uh, makeover, Paper Pumpkin makeover. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So I hope that you guys have a super fabulous weekend, that there will be some crafting in it for you and that you will be able to uh, kind of make the most of your supplies and making difference for the people around you because really, Everybody can use a little brightness in their day. So um, do what you love and share it with other people and, and uh, make a difference for them too. So um, let's see. Everybody's saying have a great weekend. Thanks, guys. Um, Trish says love the alternate ideas with the rainbow stamp set. I know. You know, the rainbows, um, the hearts are playful and fun and um, a great uh, addition to any kind of playful, fun um, graphic design, I guess. And so the hearts and the rainbows just go great together. And then someone asked me about the trimmer and I'm, let me grab the paper trimmer page for you. It is in the big catalog. Um, it is on page 151 and it is this one here. So it's way out there at the edge. If you take the link and visit my online store, you can order it through there. Just search trimmer in the, um, in the online store and you will find it. So it is it is a fabulous trimmer. I really do use it. I have, because I'm a demonstrator and I do a lot of cardstock cutting in volume, like prepping 40 kits or 50 kits or things like that, I have a big trimmer that I use for those things, but for little stuff and for um, one-off and for precision cutting, I, I use this trimmer all the time. So yeah, highly, highly recommend. All right, everybody have a super great weekend and the trimmer with the scoring. Oh yes, and Melissa, it does have the scoring blade. When you order this, it comes with the cutting blade and the scoring blade, they're both on it. So um, you'll get both with, with the trimmer, so, okay. All right, everybody have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy your time and I will be back on Monday with another project. Um, and here's a little sneak peek of it. It is a biggest fan project, so um, hey sports fan, but it's not necessarily very sport specific. So again, I'm a big fan of using things for lots of different applications. Um, we're, not, we're not about like putting a box around the Valentine and sending it only to you know the elementary kids or whatever. Um, lots, lots of opportunities to use these fabulous supplies. So have fun. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.